It's been the dream of many for decades, but is it finally becoming reality? A fully convertible flying car recently made its first voyage between two international airports and has now notched up for more than 40 hours in the air. The air car is the work of a Slovak inventor and designer who's been working on the project for three decades. He took our correspondent, Rob Cameron, for a spin. It sounds like a sports car. It looks like a sports car. And you can even fill it up with regular petrol at the pump. This supercar is equipped with a super feature like no other. At the touch of a button, in a process that takes two minutes and 50 seconds, it does this. The first prototype has a 160 horsepower engine and easily reaches regular motorway speeds on the ground. In the air, it flies at an altitude of 2,500 metres at speeds of up to 170 kilometres per hour. But the next step is a pre-production model with a range of 1,000 kilometres. For me, what's important is the feeling of freedom. I'm from a generation that knows what it is to lose one's freedom. The car gave us great freedom, but now we just sit in traffic. The flying car could reinstate this freedom and take it to a whole new level. Professor Klein says the real advantage of the air car is its convertibility. When the wings are retracted, it's only slightly longer than a regular estate car, meaning it'll fit in your garage. And all you'll need to take off is a strip of grass or concrete. All this is still at the prototype stage. The big concern, of course, remains safety. We can make an aircraft fly fairly, fairly easily, fairly easily, but the humanity has been doing that for 120 years now. The trick now here in the 21st century is doing it safely now by safely i mean getting on for a million hours of flight time before we have an accident induced by the aircraft failing for some reason so hats off to professor klein but his work is only just beginning the air car is not the only flying car in development consultants morgan stanley say the sector could be worth one and a half trillion dollars within two decades. Big manufacturers are clearly interested. So could we really be spending more time in the air than in traffic? Rob Cameron, BBC News, Slovakia. It looks phenomenal, doesn't it? I would love one of those at some point. I don't know if I could ever afford it.